Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing my February hits and misses. I usually don't do products that I don't like, but this month there was two that I just really wasn't too impressed with after I used them for a while. So I'm going to be sharing you, um, I'm going to be sharing those with you as well, but we're going to start off with the face products that I actually did enjoy this month. So the first is the VIP Gold Collection Super BB Cream. Looks like that. I've had this for a while. Um, but I kind of just rediscovered it. This is really nice for the days when you don't want to go through like a full foundation routine because it does cover, but it's like easy. You can just put it on with your fingers, blend in, and it adjusts to your skin tone if you are fair. It will not, this will not work for you if you have dark skin. So I would just be aware of that because this is the only color. It's just like one product. And if you have a light skin, it will um, adjust to your skin tone. So I really like this. I actually got this from... I think it was like eBay because these are from um, like overseas so just beware of that my cat is crying outside I feel bad the next thing is the Neutrogena healthy skin liquid makeup in classic ivory number 10 this is a foundation that I picked up probably like October November probably more November I think it was around Thanksgiving and I got this I picked this up and the Revlon color stay at the same time and then I just never, I honestly never use this, not even once. Because then short after that, I found my Makeup Forever HD foundation. So I just wasn't trying it out. But this is good for people with dry skin because it's like lightweight and it kind of feels moisturizing on the skin. Whereas the Revlon Color State is for people with oily skin, which I didn't know. So maybe try, check this out if the, um, the Revlon Color State didn't work for you. Because I really like that. The next thing is something I've had for a while as well. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge. Um, this is a gel um, moisturizer and it is for extended thirst relief. And this is really great if you have dry skin, but I wouldn't recommend using this throughout the fall and winter because it's just not thick enough to um, keep you moisturized when like the weather is super cold. But since it's starting to get a little bit warmer out again, I'm starting to use and I just remember how much like I love this it feels so good on the skin I really recommend this and the next thing is something I actually just picked up it is the hard candy blush crush baked blush in 127 honeymoon and it looks like that it's kinda like marbleized um, it has like pink and purple in there so it just looks like that and this is um, what I actually use for a highlighter because this is very subtle because sometimes when I use highlighters it can just look a little bit like stark and you're just like wow you can tell but this is really like just subtle it's nice just for a little bit of glow like on your cheeks and on your nose and stuff like you can almost tell unless you see in person which I like that about it so the next thing is my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW15 just looks like that and I just love this concealer because it covers really nice and sometimes it can get a little bit cakey but you just have to be careful like with what you um, apply this with, like find the correct brush and everything like that. But if you can figure out how to make it work, it's wonderful. The next we'll start on eyes, I guess. So the first thing is this NYX eyeshadow in True Taupe, which looks like that. This is actually what I use on my eyebrows because I have brow kits, but for some reason those um, shades never work on me. So I just tried to, to try this out. I mean, it's a little bit it's probably like a shade darker than what I would have gone for but I actually really like how it looks so the next is my MAC fast response eye cream and this um at first I was kind of skeptical it was like really expensive I think it was like $30 for this like tiny tube but it feels so good underneath your eyes it helps your concealer go on smoother it like diminishes um dark circles like it fades them it's just, oh, I love how this feels too. It's like the best thing ever. I highly recommend this. And then the last eye product is my Naked 2 palette. Um, I didn't expect to like this as much as I did. That's what the shadows look like. I'm obsessed with my Naked, like the first Naked palette. So I was kind of like how, I didn't know how I was going to feel about this one. But I actually reach for this like every day now, which is surprising. I just didn't think that I would be able to love another palette as much as the Naked One palette. But this is amazing. Like all the colors in here are pretty much what people were asking for in the first one. Like after the first one came out, all the complaints that they had 
they fix in this palette and I absolutely love it. And the last um, hit of this month is the Essie's um, Mint Candy Apple Polish. That's actually what I have on my nails right now. And this is a really great polish for spring and summer because it's obviously a bright, like, minty color. And the formulation of Essie polishes are, like, fantastic. They're cream finish, which is my favorite kind of finish. So, um, because I like how glitter nail polish looks, but it's just such a pain to get on and get perfect. These are really easy to make your nails, like, look really nice without having to, um, apply lots of coats or anything like that. So I highly recommend Essie polishes in general, but specifically Mint Candy Apple. Okay, so now for the two products that I wasn't so crazy about. You may have seen this first one in a previous video when I went through my vanity and this is the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Primer and I thought that I liked this but I don't know if you can see that it's like an orange it comes out like like orange like that and it's just like I don't know when you like rub it in it feels good and then if you like put foundation or if you kind of rub at it it'll just start to like come off like because sometimes you have to make sure it's all rubbed in but if you literally rub like a second too long it'll start like rubbing off in like little pieces and it's just I definitely don't recommend this I suggest going for a better primer one that I really like that isn't too expensive is the elf mineral face primer which I need to pick up again but I prefer that so much over this so and then the next thing is this L'Oreal color reach balm and this one is in caring coral like when you look at that you would think that that's gonna have some pigmentation right do you see anything like the it's like clear there's like barely any pigmentation whatsoever and I figured that I mean look at like the swatch on the bottom that's pretty dark so I figured it would at least show up but no it's like this clear barely pink whatever but I don't recommend those at all if you're gonna go for something that's like balm like with a color I see either go with baby lips um those are nice especially the pink lemonade one I like that or the Revlon Lip Butters, which I think are amazing. So, yeah. So, this is... These are my February hits and misses. So, tomorrow is March. So, that's kind of crazy that it's going by so fast already this year. But, um, everyone says that. But, whatever. It's true. So, yeah. Um, if I... If you see another video posted up in the next couple of days with the same outfit, just know this is, like, my filming day. And I'm just going to get a couple of videos done today. <laughs> Just because I finally have time, um, I don't have schoolwork to do today, so. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!